So, which device shall we take a look at? Well, this is not a new phone, but it's an interesting one. It's an LG Expo. And here it is right there. Uh, complete with, oh my gosh, an attachable projector. Uh, let's take a look. The LG Expo. Now this phone is a few years old, but it is interesting because it does have the DLP projector. Now the specifications of the phone, um, that's your average from UMTS HSDPA tri-band phone. Uh, originally designed, <laughs> look, take a look at that. Originally designed for AT&T, although you can use it on T-Mobile um, if it is unlocked. Talk time, 5.3 hours, standby time, 15 days. Your standard uh, uh, pre-iPhone, pre-Windows Phone 7, pre-Android smartphone. Um, one th good thing about this phone is that it does have the slide out keyboard and it's not a huge phone. Uh, now, it does have the 480 by 800 touch screen, but it does not have haptic touch. Uh, it's hard to use your fingers, you'll have to use either a, a stylus or even your fingernail. Uh, one interesting thing about this phone is it does have a um, fingerprint sensor right here, a biometric sensor. Uh, right now it's asking for me to swipe my finger. I'm going to go ahead and swipe it, and it starts up the phone for me. So um, that's an interesting security feature right there. Now um, I'm not going to go over the Windows Mobile 6.5, I mean everybody that's had a Windows Mobile phone knows about that, and those that have never had one don't need to know because seriously just, just get a new phone. But what I do want to look at is the one special additional feature that makes this phone even today still worthwhile. What is that? Well, it's the DLP projector by Pico. And we're going to take a quick look and see um, what makes this projector really special. It's really small. Look how small it is compared to the phone. And um, it looks really good. Let's actually see how it works. When the phone is on, you basically use the screen like a regular phone. Um, typing and whatnot, but when you want to do something like display what's on your screen to a larger audience or even do a presentation. Yes, you could do PowerPoint presentations, uh, presentations from Internet Explorer, display videos or picture slideshows. All you do is without turning off the phone, you pop off the battery cover. Phone is still on. And this projector pops right onto the opening. How do you turn this on? Well, there's a slider right here. And when you open that, your screen asks you to turn the projector on by sliding your finger, or uh, not finger, your stylus, across this right here. I'm going to use my fingernail. And then the projector turns on. On the side, there's a sliding focus. Let's take a quick look. Right here on the box, what the image looks like. I'm going to turn off the light. There we go. Now it's not really in focus right now because I need to adjust the slider. But before I do that, I want you to notice how bright that is, even though I have not completely turned off the light in my room. What I am going to do now is project this on the ceiling and turn the light off in the room so that you can see how bright this is.
Now that was playing the video on the ceiling and it was roughly about 40 inches. I can clear that up. There we go. That looks a lot better. And that is coming completely off the projector on the phone right there. That's pretty good. And when you're done, without turning off the phone, just pop the projector off, pop the battery cover back on, and that's it. You're back in business with your phone. Projector, very lightweight and small, um, decent resolution, and fits in your pocket.